hive as usual and uh, we can start working on uh, Crunchyroll stuff. Come on. Okay, looks like we're good. Okay, so hi everybody, how's it going team here? And today I wanna to continue our um, development of the Electron app. So last time we finished the, or more or less finished the Crunchyroll uh, extension. The thing is that I did a very quick and dirty version of uh, Get My Stuff, right? So the uh, My Series. And uh, currently it uses the different collections in um, bookmarks which are in database so this is not something I actually want so I want to kill that and what I want to do is actually go and fill it in in the series and episode so what we're gonna do is we are going to um, get first of all we're gonna get this so I'm gonna command this or I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually gonna remove that right because we don't really need it and let me think we are yeah okay we use DB so what we need to do is okay I'm gonna do console log um, items here so that we see the items actually and my hyper stopped working again um, yeah can I just yes please restart I guess um, yeah there we go okay now it's working um, projects, PPGS, Electron, there we go. Okay, so um, what I want to do now is have a look at the uh, data that we get and then go through each and every one of those, right? Uh, component uh, changes of undefined, right? Okay, because we use the, um, this is also one of the things we need to change. This is, no, this is the episode thing and we want to, where did we have it actually? This is in um, my stuff component did mount, which is of course my.js and my.js is in pages. Okay, so it's inside of the page. That's where I wanna go. Um, and yeah, exactly. So we actually just wanna look for series, look for changes, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna filter uh, so that document is bookmarked right so this is what we care about we're only going to show the bookmarked episode um, series in this case so we're going to do that uh, this should fix the problem but we still should see the the things here right so we get what we get episodes and we get series title and url so in this case um, let me think actually turn off the mobile phone so before it starts beeping all the way around so say two hours should be sufficient okay so the thing is is that now we have an array of those items so what we need to do is um, I mean actually we want to do it do want to do it in parallel now that sounds like a bad idea because then we will have parallel requests right so we want to do it in um, sequentially right so basically that's gonna mean that we're gonna have four lets item in items and uh, if I just do console log item right now we should actually see um, theoretically all the items right ah, okay this is gonna um, off right okay I am forgetting how to correctly use uh, for loops <laughs> but in this case we actually need it There we go, okay. So we have that stuff. Um, we just copy this, come on, come here. Okay, uh, just paste it here real quick. That is slightly screwed up. Uh, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. So what we actually wanna do is um, serious 
Um, okay, wait a second. Well, we need couch DB thing. Uh, no, pouch DB it was, right? So we need to find the document. Uh, fish doc. Get document ID. Um, query is there? Query no. Query index is okay. So we can do find selector. Um, but wait a second. We have ID, right? So we can just say get, um, and then we can say item series URL, right? So because this is our series, and this should be uh, synchronous. So console log series, and we are not a sync. This no, we are a sync. So why are you complaining? What do you like? Uh, wait. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is the um, let is never assign const. Now we need let here. I don't know why it complains, but it actually is assigned every time, right? Every iteration of the loop. Okay. Uh, let us see. So now we should see a bunch. Yeah, okay, so some of them is going to be not found. And this is the cases we want to uh, handle, which means that if um, no wait, th that has to be try catch exception. So if not found, uh, get full uh, info, then save to DB, right? So this is what we want. If it is found, what we need to say is we need to say DB series. Um, what was the create update? So put put um, then okay. We need the revision. So ID revision. Um, put and uh, I think in this case we can actually just say. Uh, we can put uh, object assign, right? So we just take the series that we just got and say bookmarked true. And we actually just need to do it if series bookmarked. So if it's not yet bookmarked, we are going to write it to DB as bookmarked, right? So this is one thing. Um, console log. Okay, uh, no, wait a second. So we're going to say um, Yeah, let's try that not bookmarked serious. And then in this case, I'm just going to say bookmarked. Uh, there we go. So for you started now, we should able to see whatever the series are actually in. Ah, yeah, right. Okay, wait a second. That's going to break. Yes, because we want to see here um, items here. Uh, no, come on. Series URL. There we go. So this should show us that there's basically a bunch of series that are um, not found in a DB, right? And those are the ones that found. They are now actually set as bookmarked. There we go. Good. And um, so, okay, wait a second. They are now bookmarked true. And uh, why are they not appear here? That is very interesting. Since live include docs, change not deleted. Yes, uh, that's a bit interesting. Okay, we're going to investigate it later. What we have to do now is we actually have to fetch the info for those series, right? So, um, where is our serious info? So this is the info that we get from a serious thing, right? Um, pum, 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 let me think. Um, so can we somehow, I mean, the stupidest case would be to just try and uh, I closed it, right? Okay, let me restart it. So the stupidest thing would be to load the URL that we actually get, uh, obviously concatenating it with uh, base URL, and then extract the required information from there, like for example, new game. So that should be yes. And now we get, we have the description here. We obviously have the show name. We have the uh, episodes count. What else? What are the um, ID source? So this is what we actually want, right? 
Um, so const series, series, there we go. And then await db series put series. Uh, we actually might want to change it to bulk insert. So that basically we say um, const new series this and then uh, so new series push series. It's going to be a bit more efficient than just, you know, inserting every every time we encounter a new thing. And then it's going to be a wait DB series uh, bulk docs and new series. There we go. Okay, so now we need to actually fetch that, which means that um, I guess it will be easier to just create a new method that would uh, do that for us, right? So I might consider splitting this code a bit because it's like, what, 300 lines already and that's, that's too long. I would prefer something smaller. So get series GS, let's do it this way, module exports we got a function which uh, ID, right? So this is going to be our ID. It's going to be our, uh, you know what? No, it's fine. We can, we can copy it for now and then we'll see if we use it more than in, in one place. So base URL. Mm, or maybe we should create a config from the beginning. No, it's fine. We're good. Um, okay, so what we need is we need Cheerio. We need a request promise native. Um, so it's gonna be yes and, and no wait npm packages. Um, pum, 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 pum. Let me think. So we got that part. Yeah, we can just copy this thing here. And um, um, ta -ta oh, wait. Uh, yeah. So this that has to be a sync, right? Because we're doing requests uh, formatted with. Um, Okay, and then because we have a base URL here, well, we actually what we can do is just say this, right? So this is all we need. So we we'll load the data into Cheerio, and now we need to write correct selectors, which means we're going to have a look at the source code here. So uh, I'm going to copy, wait a second, where is it? Uh, here. So this is what we are actually interested in. And in this case, it's going to be a wait, get serious, uh, and this is going to be item series URL, right? And I need to actually import it over here. Get serious from uh, get serious. There we go. Okay. Um, let me think where was it? There we go. Okay, uh, we got that. So wait, yes, I know you complained that you don't like it. It's fine. Um, const series. So the ID is our I, we, I mean, we can just say underscore ID and change it a bit over here and done. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Construct result. So this is going to be our result. Source is Crunchyroll. Okay, so we need title URL. I mean, URL is full URL. So we can actually extract this thing and say const URL. There you go. So we now have the URL. So we need title image and count. Um, count being, I mean, I don't know if we, okay, let's see. First of all, title. There ought to be a title somewhere here. Uh, link rel. Okay, title. Now nah, this should be title Crunchyroll. No, 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 no. Uh, title new game episode 12. This is not what we're looking for. Okay, wait a second. You know what? It's gonna be it's gonna be way easier if I just do this. Okay, um, we got h1 prop ellipsis item prop name name. Okay, so this is what we are actually looking for. Um, edit as HTML. Let me copy that HTML bit, which means we need to find title, which is gonna be um, span with item prop that equals name, right? And uh, we take text from that. So then image um, should be trivial as well. So we have this huge, nice image over here. Uh, item prop description. No, that's not what I want. I want an image here. No, wait, that, that is that is I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. 
um, copy, copy, copy outer HTML. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. So um, again, image with item prop equal image. And we need attribute poster, right? Uh, sorry, source. This is what we want. Okay, you know what? Let's actually test if that works. So uh, let's see. So if we search for that, that actually returns us a bunch of things. First one is exactly what we No, it is only one, right? So um, yeah, okay, cool. That works. So if we search for image, so item prop uh, image, uh, whoops, no, we, we don't want a text from image. We want attribute uh, source uh, that, yeah, it does. Okay, cool. So it's exactly what we want. Um, now, uh, const count. This is a slightly trickier one. So what we want is to count the episodes here. Um, and uh, this is this is our episodes, uh, our bubble group item. So we got we got to count group items, but they have to be within list of seasons. I guess list of seasons is that the same for all things? So I, I, like I'm I'm a bit worried that you know I might screw this up and uh, do a search. Uh, for something that is basically going to be different on different pages. Uh, so let's say there's a Naruto that has a billion of episodes. So let's have a look at how that looks. So um, inspect this. We got list of seasons. And uh, if I scroll to the very bottom, it should be. Yep. OK, so cool. So we get the list of seasons. Um, okay, so we have dot list of seasons and then we get a dot group. What was it? Group item or yeah, group item. Uh, whoops, that's too much. And uh, length that it's zero. Okay, is it not ancestor? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is what we're interested in. And um, the question here is because Cheerio is not exactly the same as uh, client like jQuery or whatever the uh, query selector all I think it might not be length no it is length okay cool so we are good here there we go we got length and uh, we just say return series right there you go okay uh, so we await for series we push it into that stuff and uh, ton, ton, ton. okay we don't okay we still so this is this that this handles the series we need to do the same for episodes, right? So I wonder, no, I mean, we don't, we don't care about episodes, right? Because this is like, in this case, this is just the last unwatched episode is what we get. So we are, we should be fine. Um, high steam working, it's going good. I mean, I'm trying to figure out the best way to handle this, but you know, working on it. Okay, let's see. Um, so theoretically, if I click my series now, we should get, okay, not bookmarked, we got that. Yeah, okay, so I can see this is the request going. Now, okay. So theoretically, once this finishes, actually, we should be able to see like the next request, the next time we reload that, we should be able to see everything right and it should not actually say hey there's not bookmarked um, titles there okay looks like it's finished so if we now restart we should actually see that it, it hits all of them exactly within the database okay cool the next question is why the hell it doesn't display them um, Okay, let's leave it at this. So we got uh, this is the my stuff exactly. So we got get my series cool, and it now saves them to series. Yes. Okay. Uh, filter. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just do this. Do 
so just to see that if, if there's actually anything coming from PouchDB, like maybe I'm just filtering something wrong. Okay, there is a bunch of changes. Um, ton, ton, ton. There's actually a lot of changes here. And uh, let me see. Changes. Uh, yeah, come on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. We don't. We don't actually need logging over here anymore. At least for the moment. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have a look how that looks. Um, yeah, my series. There we go. So this is actually pre uh, like before we write. Am I am I correct about that? So uh, let us just say console log finished fetching my stuff just to see where 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 it actually happens and why. My series. There we go. So yeah. Okay. And then there are no changes for whatever reason. So changes, revision. Yeah, okay, we get a revision, we get doc. It is bookmarked. Okay, so changes, deleted, it's not deleted. Okay. Um, yeah, so there are revisions. Okay, so we get the doc, right? Oh, wait, shouldn't it be? No. Okay, wait a second, do doc. Am I am I already too, did I have too much Java code today? So I'm starting to confuse things. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that seems correct. So it, it does get us the uh, things. Okay, bookmark. Oh, right, okay, because I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, yes, I might, might have had a bit too much Java today. So I'm actually rendering that as bookmark episode, which is not correct. Um, feel free to mute me if you know that's kind of the way <laughs> you want to watch my stuff. I completely don't mind. Okay, um, let me think. So what do we actually want to show here? We want to show the um, series and then we want to show the last unwatched episode. So what I'm going to do now is since we have that episode URL, which is essentially the um, ID of the episode, right? Except I think this is the there shouldn't be this question mark T zero here. So this is what we need to strip out. Mm. Yeah, I guess uh, this is so wait a second, uh, we have this episode URL. Um, I guess we can say Wait a second. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say const link, right? And then we're going to say episode going to be no wait, um, let's let's do it like this, because it's going to be a bit more code than just one liner. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to say const um, parts link parts, let's call it this way. Parts uh, link split by question mark, which means that episode is going to be link parts from zero and then um, episode time is going to be link parts from one, right? So, well, but wait a second, there's the question mark and then it's T equals. It's going to be this and uh, replace uh, T equals with nothing. And we're going to push it um, episode time here, right? So this is going to give us the time mark for the episode, whether user watched it or not, which means that now so we go over that we save the series. Um, and then we're going to go. So what we could do is we could say, okay, since this we know for a fact that like when you open your uh, queue, then what do you see here is your last unwatched episode, right? So we can assume that everything before it is actually watched. So I guess this is what we're going to do. Um, okay, uh, this is going to be mark series as bookmarked or create a new one, right? Um, I'm 
I'm still thinking if there's a way we can do it without the for loop because this is kind of lame. Okay, um, we do that and then we need, no wait, that is still our for loop. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, okay, this is, uh, and then mark uh, all older episodes as viewed because this is so series can be bookmarked, but episodes are not bookmarked. They are actually viewed, right? So we need to go through them and mark all the older one as viewed to the progress 100%. Okay, so try again, uh, catch e um, if, okay, we're gonna say if Siri is not found, so I'm gonna kill this console log because we don't really need it anymore. And uh, we're gonna do the same here if um, episode not found, get full info and then save to DB, right? First, const episode. First, we're just gonna try uh, to find it. DB episodes, get, and we already have the um, item episode URL, right? So we try to do that and see if episodes, so we actually, ah, right. So we get the episode for a specific anime and the one that is not watched. So we actually wanna get all the episodes that are earlier than that. Okay, let's see, console log episode. I wonder how many, how many of those we actually will get because one thing is loading um, anime info and the other thing is loading like the all episodes. Imagine not much, yeah, exactly. So, which means that we actually need to fetch. So if it's not found, then console log episode not found. So we need to fetch episodes for series, which means that we actually wanna extract, uh, I don't know if we wanna extract it, but maybe we just call it here get episode no get episodes right so we just need to call uh get episodes uh which means this is gonna be a wait this get episodes and uh in this case series so what do we use from series here because this is sort of a very specific so we got the series url and uh, series id right okay so in this case, we're gonna say underscore ID is ser um, item series, uh, no URL, come on. And uh, wait a second, what, what do we have more? Okay, um, series ID and series URL. Okay, so just two of them. And uh, URL, which means it's gonna be actually base URL and then this is gonna be uh, item series URL right so this is what we want to pass in um, fetching and then const episodes okay so console log let's see loaded so I'm thinking that basically what we need to do is we need to fetch all of them, but mark up to that episode, like all of them up to that episode as red. Let's try it. So it should fetch like a billion of episodes for different enemies. I wonder if that will actually hit at some point their um, DDoS protection, but we'll find out in a second. Yeah, so far it seems working okay. It's actually relatively fast. I mean, we do still have to show the loader while this stuff is happening, but it's a different question. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just, I mean, I have like about a hundred maybe things bookmarked, so it's gonna take some time. And this is our episode that is found. So how do we get all Hmm. Do we have to change the data structure to be able to do that? Or do we just show and we like say, okay, screw that, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, let me think. There's actually some failed ones. 
Oh, I guess this is because I'm, yeah, right, okay. I have bookmarks from the US version, but I'm like right now in Germany, so it's like some of them are not gonna be working, obviously. Uh, and, and, oh, and it does German stuff again. Oh, come on, Crunchyroll. Um, okay, yes, we need to do this thing, right? Because we need to actually force English language. Uh, and looks like I actually have to do that for all requests, which is uh, slightly annoying, but okay. Authentication is fine. So let me see. Um, so this is basically URL jar, yeah. So we need that part and okay, let's first like whatever. It's it can be German, doesn't matter right now. Um so we load all stuff and uh, I guess because it doesn't really matter. So we just say, okay, here's, we loaded all the, no, it, it should like, oh, come on. So the episodes are sequential, right? At least they should be. So we find the episodes and then if, uh, I mean, we don't actually need to find, okay, we try to find the current episodes. What we need to do now is find all episodes, which means we need to await um, DP episodes. Okay, how do we fetch them in the um, series page? We do what? Uh, episode. Okay, we just do change and we filter by series. Okay, I guess we need here to use the CouchDB or PouchDB search. Uh, changes, batch feeds, create update, uh, blah, 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 create index, query index, find, okay, find, uh, so that, uh, okay, there's some complicated syntax here, fields, sort, mm, we don't actually need that stuff, right, so, this is what we want, so selector and fields, it doesn't matter, I hope that's optional, uh, so in this case, selector is gonna be, um, this is episodes and episode looks how, uh, there we go. So series and series ID, this is what we're interested in, right? So we're gonna say that we wanna select all episodes that have series. And in this case, we say item series URL console log all episodes um, s I forgot s there we go and uh, let me just do like a dummy slash and maybe to just separate the results a bit okay Still says not found. Why? That is a bit strange. I mean, theoretically, we just fetched all of them, right? So that should be. Wait a second. Get episodes, inserts them into the episodes database. Yes. So why the hell? Episodes get item episode URL. Okay, let us check. Lock looking for. Mm. Is the URLs mismatch or something? Is that the case? Um, no, 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 wait, uh, no, uh, you know, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do break here. Okay, now we got 64 Gintama episodes, which is actually, why is it so little? Gintama has only 64 episodes, that doesn't seem correct. Is it, uh, no, 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 please, no, 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 not the episode itself, I want the Gintama page, there we go. Um, are they not loaded at all? So I need to do like Ajax request or something. No, they are here. Okay. 
So, okay, this is a different problem. But let's see. Sirius Gintama episode. Oh, okay, that's why they're. So, this is exactly the problem because it only loads the latest season that is uh, expanded, but not the stuff that is in there. So, group item. Okay, um, wait a second. Get episodes, right? So, we got list of seasons. Um, portrait grid. Yes. No, wait. Is that one? No, it's not okay. So I don't actually need this second thing. So I need that, right? Only this one. And then theoretically, let's see. So basically it should fetch what? 500 episodes for Gintama? Um, where's my, did it just open it here? Yes, it did. There you go. Okay. So if I click series now, we should get 500 episodes for Gintama. Uh, that does not look like 500 episodes to me. Okay, I am slightly confused now. Is it group item there? Okay, th th this is definitely group item, right? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so now let's have a look at those. So they are collapsed. <laughs> it is group item. And uh, it a href. So why the hell? Your portrait grid CF season. List of seasons is the whole thing, right? Okay. And then we just need to go through all of the group items with an episodes container. I am a bit confused. Um, so it's map, yeah, okay, list of seasons. You know what, let's try it this way. Maybe it just doesn't like the selector. Um, what if I do it this way, list of season? No, come on. Group item length. There we go. Okay, now it works. Um, let us try it this way. Maybe it just wants a larger selector. There's some cheerio quirks. Let's see. That is still 64. I am very confused right now. Okay, so this is not a problem then. <laughs> okay, let us have a look at the data. Maybe the data is somehow different. Although I, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, there we go. That's our data. It definitely doesn't look like there is, no, there's 200, 270. That is 280, 270. No way, this is, this is some script stuff. Div class, over classes, 180, okay, so Wait, it doesn't load the whole thing? Is that how it works? Progress bar uh, 328. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't really contain the whole thing. Okay, this is, okay, whatever. This is a diff completely different question. So I guess we're just gonna stop at saying, okay, we're just gonna show the, um, the loaded series, let's let's put it this way, because like doing the episodes, at least for the Crunchyroll, seems like a entirely separate task that would take way more time than uh, we actually want to spend on this. Okay, which means, uh, wait a second, I can close that. And uh, what means is that I can say that we don't need this bookmark episode anymore, but we can say series. And we can import component series. Yes, there you go. And then we just say here series key s i d, and then series is going to be s, right? So in theory, if we now 
start that and click my series, we should be able to see nicely. Oh yeah, right, um, that is overly big. So we need to format it in the same way as we do the home. Wait a second, is there actually um, a grid? So it would be nice to have automatically scaling grid essentially here. Uh, so we have these grid tiles. Yes, this is what I want. Um, div class tile, magic tile element. That sounds about right. Tile is ancestor, uh, tile is vertical. Yeah, let's do that. So div class name, tile is ancestor. And then uh, we can do the same for home, I think, right? So we don't actually need that chunks anymore if we're using tiles. Um, we don't need column that, nope, that is a bit too much. So serious, yes. And then what we need to do is we need to take components uh, so we can kill that bookmark episode thing. Serious. And this is gonna be tile is his parent tile is child and it's gonna be, we're gonna say that it is, is uh, what was the helper things? Is it modifiers? Mm, yeah, responsive helpers? Uh, no, um, was it just in helpers? No, the hell was it? First column auto is, yeah, is one third. Yeah, there you go, is, so we can say this something like is, is three, for example, I think that should be sufficient for it. Let's try if that looks any good. It actually is not that what that it seems to be all in one column. And what, what, where's, where's everything else? <laughs> What's going on? I don't, okay, now it works. What, what about the multi what am I doing it wrong um, okay home so you got tile is answer okay let, let's have a look at the docs once again because this is looks exactly like what we need the only question is uh, to build intricate to dimensional you only need a single intimate tile okay tile is parent tile is child okay so we need actually two tiles as far as I understand so we need tile uh, so this is just going to be div. Is it? Is that how it works? So we just say here div class name tile. Eh, whoops, that is too much. And then I close this div here. And if we start it, what do we see? We see them tiled vertically. That's not what I want. Tile is vertical. Um, okay, wait, let me just, that, that is so hard to read from that thing. Okay, copy that, uh, insert here, set it to HTML. So this is tile number one, right? Style number two, style number three. Okay, so this, those are, those two, Okay, so the container, nah, that, that's not, that's not exactly what we want. One, two, three, tiles ancestor. Yeah, okay, so those are white column, tiles ancestor, tiles vertical, tiles parent. Okay, um, okay, wait a second. So this goes here, tile is ancestor, that looks correct. And here we say is parent, and we say is three. Is that what you want? That's slightly confusing tiling system. Okay, that looks better, but it's still only in one, one row. Um, Dun, dun. Yeah, th this is kind of the layout I want, but it's like, okay, so we have this is ancestor, then we have his parent, 
Then we have this child box, tile is child box, tile is child box. Okay, so this has to be again chunked and okay, I see. Um, I guess let's try. So we have to revert that and instead of columns say tile is um, ancestor, right? Is that how it works? Yeah, there we go. That looks actually quite nice. And there's still some strange ah, video comments. Okay, those are the broken animes because of the region restriction, but that looks decent. Okay, let's stop at that. Um, let me copy this stuff to the my page. Because this is exactly what we want here as well. And if it's too we go now to my page we should see all our bookmarked animes right here and that looks exactly correct cool and uh, if we click on it we should actually be able to get if not all than most of the episodes so this is a bug for another time okay but i think that is basically sufficient uh for um um Crunchyroll source, let's just leave it at that uh, since you guys wanted to see. Okay, um, let me first commit that stuff. So um, change code to um, handle bookmarked series within existing uh, database, right? So yes, continuing my uh, thoughts. So because you wanted to see multiple plugins working I am not going to focus on uh, polishing the Crunchyroll and we're actually going to implement the um, another plugin which is going to be YouTube in this case, right? So which means that um, I'm going to copy this here and we're going to remove most of the stuff here because we don't actually need plugin parser. We don't need we need to be we don't need any of that stuff base url i don't think we need that sleep we probably don't need as well class youtube so we're gonna be um yeah we're probably gonna need a wood but we're gonna get to that later um, i'm gonna kill that for now um we're gonna start simple the same as we did with um with a crunchy roll so i'm just gonna leave the methods here and kill everything else because since we're gonna use multiple um, plugins, the thing is that they must conform to the same API, right? Otherwise you won't be able to call them. So um, theoretically, actually, if we would use um, something like um, TypeScript or Flow, we could describe the, um, we could actually describe this the class or the interface for it uh, more programmatically, which would simplify it a bit, but uh, we're gonna do it old school way and just go like this. So it's YouTube settings, let's just do it this way. YouTube, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I think we are good. We don't need Electron here either right now. And uh, so we're gonna import YouTube from YouTube, right? And then the thing is that we're gonna change this export from one to an array. And in this case, this means that uh, we actually need, so basically the thing is that now we cannot just call the thing directly because we now have a set of APIs. So what we want to do is we want to have the manager that would uh, call those things for us. So we actually, let's see where we call the API pages uh, ourselves. So I think as if I just search from slash API, I guess like this, I'm gonna see like a bunch of, um, there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five places where we call this. And in this case, we actually, this is the draw settings. Um, so uh, we have two ways. We can just say, okay, there, there is an array of APIs and everyone else should handle it 
um, however they want, or we can say there is a manager that controls the whatever API you plug into it. And then basically, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. So I'm thinking which approach would we take here? So we have what? Uh, this is the Crunchyroll we call, this is just the get episode. So in this case, yeah, I think we're gonna go with manager because for example, in this case, we're calling for a specific, uh, we need to know the specific provider, right? We can of course filter that ourselves, but that's gonna be a bit of a pain in ass. So instead of um, doing that, I'm gonna say manager JS class, uh, and I'm gonna copy again this stuff. In this case, we actually don't really need, I think, do we, well, I don't think we need any of those packages at all. So it's gonna be, um, let's call it plugin manager. And we're gonna export, yeah, I think I'm just gonna kill that because we only need to export this class here. And then uh, this is gonna be plugins array here. I'm just gonna say plugins equal plugins. So just gonna save it and um, this is what we are gonna do. So, um, which basically means that this plugins map plugin to uh, plugin get all series with page, right? So, and I mean, this is exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take all plugins, iterate over them, call the exact same function and say, hey, okay, now get all series for this plugin. So we're gonna get array of arrays of that stuff, right? Uh, so we're actually gonna return, no wait, it's gonna be promise all const results. Uh, so we await all of that stuff and uh, that is, should be await here. And then this is, since this is array of arrays, we're gonna reduce it. I guess we can just return the stuff, reduce. Uh, so this is the previous current, we're gonna say, um, previous concat with current, we're gonna start with a empty array. So this is basically gonna take array of arrays and reduce it to just one array with all the items in there. And we are basically just need to do the same things for episodes. So again, plug in, um, this is gonna be get episodes for uh, series. Uh, no, in this case, it actually is not how it should work. That is uh, not correct. So in this case, we are actually know which plugin we should call, right? So what we're gonna do is this plugin, so const plugin, uh, we're gonna find a plugin so that, um, okay, let's call it P, so that uh, P, um, and now that means that we need to have um, this ID, YouTube. And in this case, we're gonna have, because we already said that uh, we had this field that is called, wait a second, where's the serious stuff? Uh, yeah, there you go, source, right? So we have the field called source, so that allows us to identify um, plugins specifically, so that we know, you know, this series is coming from Crunchyroll, so we're gonna ask Crunchyroll plugin to actually fetch it for us. Okay, so ID equals series source. Uh, so this is gonna give us the plugin that is responsible for it. And we're just gonna say return plugin, um, get episodes series. All right, uh, get episode exactly the same because episodes, I hope at least that I was not stupid enough to forget about that episode should have the um, ta -da -da, wait, just get episode, come on. Get episode, there we go. So, I mean, we have a link to series. Mm, episode URL, episode, okay, no, wait, that, this is the episode. Okay, I did not, so basically we should have source crunchy roll, right? I guess this ID would be better. This is what we should put here as well. Mm, let me think, okay, we did that good. Um, so await db 
so we put source in there we put source this is search this is fine this is fine yeah okay i think we are okay source uh, this should be this id uh, get yeah this is the authentication so we are i think we're good okay now okay yeah so we find the again episode source and we call get episode so that basically we have the uniform interface to call for right and then um, in this case we're going to do the same as with the get all series so we're going to say you know reduce that stuff um, in this case plugin get my series so this is going to be specific to this search um, again we're going to search through all plugins because why the hell not query we actually don't have a search page right now in ui but eh, whatever we can do that and then the draw settings is going to do the same uh, so i um, i think eh, i don't want to do it i mean yeah no we, we don't need it's not a synchronous right so these plugins um plugin draw settings so this is going to return react component and uh, we don't actually need to reduce it so we can just return that right so we just return an array of those things and we can just render that array in the react itself now here's the question did react already roll out the version which allows us to draw arrays but we're going to find it out about um, in a second i guess okay um so we don't actually need react here it's a very simple module it's basically you know just either finds the correct plugin and calls it or calls all plugins and then conforms the results okay so this is going to be plugins this is going to be manager and uh, we're going to import plugin uh, manager from manager and uh, we're going to export default new plugin um, manager and we're going to say here crunchyroll and youtube there we go um that is a bit too many line breaks um i think that should work but we're going to find out in a second so um let's just do this uh let us see so this is our get here um wait a second get no what was it i'm forgetting how to navigate symbol and workspace ah there we go get serious right this is what i want no this is not what i want you get all serious this is fine so this is our format for serious um ten, ten, ten return so just to test that you know the stuff actually works we're gonna say id uh, test title youtube test url whatever image whatever no image actually should be something so let's go to youtube and grab something um uh, yeah why well, not let's go for a total biscuit sure um now here's the question there was a way to grab the preview somehow from youtube but uh hell if i remember that job thumbnail um how do i get a youtube thumbnail from youtube api there we go ah okay that's that seems that seems like what we want so i'm gonna do that and then just take some video like this stuff right um so we paste that here because we want to see some image there just to know that this stuff actually works um let me see if that is indeed working yep looks good okay uh and count is whatever i mean i guess it can be a number here um this is serious so we're gonna do the same for episodes just again to make sure that it's working id um, other url whatever image let me just copy this thing again 
title test uh, description test description source will be this id series id will be um yeah well, i guess we're gonna go with test because oh no yeah i guess th let's go for series id because why the hell not okay uh get episode is da -da -da. okay this this is our type url subtitles thing um so okay in this case i'm just gonna skip it for now get my series is fine okay so let, let's just see if that actually yarn start if that actually works and uh, if it does we should see no it doesn't uh, get all series of undefined okay uh right because i forgot to fix imports here so right plugin uh, manager so we're gonna import plugin manager right and we're gonna call get all series here right okay good same goes for this get my series and uh, same goes uh, where's the crunch all called there we go yes and uh, draw settings yep and uh, there we go last one whoops that is not what I wanted to remove Okay, um, I think that that's it. Okay, we see at least the uh, Crunchyroll stuff. There should be a YouTube thing somewhere, I think. Um, me, oh, right, it's not because it fetches it from the database, right? So this is not gonna be working, okay, correct. So to make sure that it's working, what I am gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the uh, manager and say, okay, we call get all series. No, wait, we're not calling it here. We're calling it at home, right? So all await, um, yeah, let's just say async in it for now. Console log all, just gonna, just gonna do this. Uh, we can roll it back afterwards. It's just to see that you know we're actually returning the correct stuff yeah it's actually the thing is that we don't need to we don't actually care about this concatenation right because we're tap now that i'm thinking about it it's all way simpler so we don't even care about returning i mean we can return it for the sake of it but the thing is that it, it's not important here uh, at least for most of the methods because we are just tapping into the database so we don't care whether or not something is going to be returned most of the time okay let's try to write get all series uh, for youtube so let's see node.js youtube api question is do we want to do youtube api or do we want to just scrape it because Google API are kind of crap and the restrictions that they put on the developers is insane. Okay, what is this? Credentials. This is, yeah, this seems to be using, provides an over for YouTube API v3. This is again, yeah, we're probably not gonna be able to authenticate properly as well. Um, let's see if there's any good packages that maybe already scrape it i mean i'm pretty sure that's that that's a thing because you know every time i tried working with youtube i hit some kind of a wall it's like hey you do want your users to use a nice reliable thing then hey register this thing and then get a token that allows you ten thousand requests per day which is like literally nothing and uh yeah and if you want to distribute it to people then ask them to do the same and it's like no 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 thank you um okay let us see so we got youtube node which is set key so this seems to be also api based uh, i mean we, we probably can do that yeah i mean why not Let, let's just do I just work with Google API, why the hell not, for the sake of it. Um, Node.js, they have a library for it, I think. Yeah, there we go. So, migrating, blah, 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 Google APIs, there we go. Yarn, odds, Google APIs, this is what we want. Um, Google API Explorer. 
and in this case so we are gonna import Google from Google APIs and then we're gonna say in the, yeah I guess here why not YouTube and uh, they don't have any definitions in there sadly okay API Explorer um, YouTube there we go YouTube data API features such as uploading creating managing searching for content and much more that sounds like what we want um, now YouTube do you have any examples perfect this is what I want to see uh, YouTube cool uh, search so I've had Google sample clients um, YouTube okay we got this thing sample client always to e client uh, what is this sample client thing now uh, that is somewhere from here I think sample client uh, da -da -da, Google Google Auth library blah 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 commands handler sample client Auth client client ID client secret authenticate authorize strain so this is a all with HTTP clients uh, can we can we not do that can we just do it without it I wonder okay now let's see they have the auth method here right no they don't oh, okay so it's a node thing and it's not do documented unless they have some other documentation that is somewhere else okay we can close that actually um APIs is that documentation I'm guessing not um, TypeScript oh they have TypeScript definition and why the hell does VS code doesn't pick it up yeah it doesn't okay that's interesting um, okay YouTube v3 okay so can we just do that I wonder if we need like we don't we don't really want to do anything require like anything with authentication at least in the first step right so we just want to like scrape or get the f basic data and then um, search so this is going to be search uh, search list okay um, here's the question if I restart code will it bleh, will it actually pick up the YouTube thing Maybe it just wasn't picking up because it wasn't in the uh, package file. Nope, that doesn't work. Sadly, okay. Uh, list. So let's see. Returns a list of caption tracks that are associated with specified video. This is definitely not what we want. So search. There is update that is not for one channel banners, channel sections. YouTube channel sections list, channels list, more channels, resources that match the requested criteria. Um, yeah, that sounds like what we want to do. Let's try that. So, um, channels equals YouTube channels list. It probably does not return promises, does it? Returns request object, yeah. Um, um, so all of that stuff is not 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 does not support promises. Uh, they added, by the way, the util permissify function into the node core, so you don't need to like do it yourself now, and uh, at least will not need to do it yourself. Starting with a node version eight, which is coming out in a few weeks, which is kind of awesome. Okay, uh, param category ID for username. So as a username YouTube, thereby requesting a channel associated with that username. Managed by me, max results, mine, my subscribers on behalf, page token part. It looks like you can only request for basically uh, whatever your stuff is. So I guess we do need that all with. Cheers. Okay, you know what? Let me see. So I got Electron JS uh, YouTube API. Maybe there's already an Electron library. How to hide it? Yeah, that 
That's one of the problem with Helictronic. <laughs> um, YouTube desktop. So what does this do? Is that just a thin wrapper? Like, hey, we have, we created another browser for you to run a YouTube in. Um, Okay. App. No, this is the style sheets. This is, or is it like really someone rewritten the whole YouTube thing? This seems like JSX refresh token. Yeah, helpers, modules, player, channel, home user trending. Wait, seriously, someone rewritten the whole YouTube in React? Some crazy people going on. Okay. Request Google token. Ah, you sneaky bastards. No, wait, that is the old. Okay, so they installed the local server and then, oh, no, that, that, that's just, that does, <laughs> doesn't rub correctly with me. I mean, come on. Hmm. I mean, we can scrape it as well. It's like, if, if, Google has to make everything so contrived from the API standpoint, it might as well be easier to just scrape the whole thing. Um, unless you guys have any better ideas for um, services. So YouTube, like we can, so, okay, let me just finish it by asking this. We have three possibilities. Number one, we use official API and suffer trying to configure it properly because we would have to spin up the server do the OAuth workflow and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, number two, we can just say, okay, screw it. We're just going to scrape it the same way we do Scrunchyroll. Obviously, once they change the design UI layout, it's going to break. And number three, we can just use a different third-party service, uh, like whatever you can suggest. Uh, I mean, there is a bunch of video services out there, so we can pick any of them and try to use that. Um, I guess that's going to be it for today's live stream. So I'm going to go around, like, you know, think a bit of what, what exactly want to do and um, how we want to approach it. I'm going to remove that Google APIs for now. And uh, just let me know in the comments which of the approaches you want to take so that we are actually going to do that next uh, time we're going to stream it. Okay, add um, plugin manager and use it to fetch or to manage. No, add plugin manager, use it to manage things. No, that's a terrible way to phrase it. Add plugin manager and use it to control uh, existing plugins. There you go. Um, I'm just gonna push it now, I guess. But yeah, definitely. So just you know, tell me what kind of uh, source do you want to see? Do you want me to work with Google API? Do you want me to work?